Hello everyone. So today we are going to work on display settings. So this display settings are not hard coded values. We are going to dynamically pull all available uh, window modes. Uh, we are going to work on the window modes options. So we are going to pull all the window modes available and we can we are going to work on how to apply them. So see, as you can see the apply and power and function also working. If I want to go back to window, okay, now we are in the window mode. So we are going to implement uh, window modes and how to apply them in this episode. Right, so before we get started, let me remind you that you can download the project files of this project and all of the thousands of projects I have done in my channel. To the date, there are over 2000 videos and for each video, project files are available. And here is the full playlist. Everything is implemented and explained from scratch. You can follow these episodes and implement everything by yourself. All right, now let's get back to today's episode. Right, now this is uh, how I have initialized uh, window mod settings. In this initialize screen mode maybe i should call window mode yeah so i just hard coded this but that's not how i want to do what i want to do is uh window what yeah here these are the available window modes this uh, for each window mode loop will loop us through all available window modes so let's do something like this this is the window mode let me promote this to a variable and delete that i just want to have this variable created all win let's call this all window modes and i'll make it an array so by running through this and adding to this i will get all the window modes available into this array and after that i need to pass this options array this as a text so get all the window modes then run another for each loop maybe like this and here uh, I'll promote this array to a variable, a local variable. Let's call it window mode array. And I'll add to that from here. So I can get the window mode to string, enum to string and then convert to text this okay and then right and also we need to pass the default selected index so we can get default window mode and this is the same enum e window mode enum and from this i can find item this item and here we get the index so i'll pass it like this right now this should dynamically 
initialize all the window mode options for us let's see settings display see now we have full screen windowed full screen and windowed so they are dynamically initialized and also as the default value i get windowed full screen maybe we should test this in a editor window so usually these settings don't work properly within the editor they usually work correctly on build game so okay now when we apply we can override apply options so here i'll add a function let's call it apply window mode so from this screen mode option let's change this to window mode options window mode oh with the mode mode okay from this i can get the selected index from the selected index i can find uh, the selected window mode is in this and then game okay, user settings full screen mode that full screen mode now within apply options we can call this apply window mode why and also to make it work i think we have to apply the solution suggest to and to test this properly i'll run it in a standalone game okay so here's the standalone game display it's windowed full screen if i apply a full screen now see we are in the full screen mode and if i go back to windows we are back in the windows mode okay so it's basically working but we have to work with the resolution screen resolution as well here and the monitor so let's revisit and see if any changes are required when we implement these other settings okay so thanks for watching as always updated project files will be available for download here in the patreon page link could be in the description below and let me know if you have any questions in the comments don't forget to like and subscribe see you in the next episode goodbye